All right. There's still a lot of people joining right now. So jumping over to KV4 to get us started, we are going to look at several parts of KV4. There is a ton more, so there will be follow-up trainings to come. Um, if, Like I said, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat box, and we will stop between each um, activity or you know sample to give you space to ask questions. When you log in, it takes you straight to your dashboard. Your dashboard is where you will see um, leads that have you know, been added to your hotline and where you can also find your spots for your profile. So up at the top of the right hand side, you'll see my name it says Aaron. You're going to click on that. First thing you're going to do is go to your profile, my profile. And this is where you can add your information about social media, add a picture. You can change your title on your web page here. But you, as you can scroll down, it says edit here. So I'm going to click that. I can add email addresses, other websites that are necessary. This is where I'm adding my bio that I have typed. And where I'm having my signature for any emails that go out, I've built that out right here. I'm going to make sure this blue button is on because it is included in all signatures for outgoing mail. That's very important. You want your signature there. Any outgoing mail from KV Core, meaning email, or text messages gives the option to opt out. So that's extremely important to remember if you're sending a mass email that this is a safe place to do it, okay? Up at the top, you will also see a little envelope up there. That little envelope gives you the, the um, option to link your email to the system. The reason for linking your email is not necessarily to receive your email, but it is to make sure that you are um, contacting and linking all of your contacts in. So if I connect my Gmail account, it's going to ask me to pick one. So I'm going to do that. And then it's going to ask me if I want to allow it to sync with it. I'm going to allow. And now you can see that my email is sunk here. I'm going to go to Google settings at the bottom. It's syncing my email. I do not want to get my emails in KV Core. I don't like that aspect of it. You can choose to if you want. I do want to sync my calendar here. It's found on my dashboard. And I do want to sync ongoing contacts that are added always without me manually doing it. Okay. So I'm going to save that setting. Pretty simple there to add. You have two, two types of mail that can link there. It's Google, email, and then Microsoft. Okay, so like Outlook and things like that. Apple, um, Max, I don't think we have an Apple link that, that will work. Jim, do you know? I don't believe we do. Okay, so it would be your Google, your Google email, your Gmail account, or your Microsoft. All right, moving on from there. Are there any questions about that initially? All right. Uh, Aaron, I have a quick question. Do you mind uh, going back on uh, the poll when you say that you don't want your email to automatically sync with Kevin? Sure. Thank you. So if you go up to the envelope again, you can see my email sync is off. I went to the Google settings at the bottom of that link and I clicked on that. It says email right here at the top. And where it says sync contact, I have it clicked off. Okay, so that will not be a problem. So I'm going to save the setting. Okay. Thank you. You are welcome. The next thing that I would like to talk about would be linking your social media to your account. We have a, the core social, which allows us to get free marketing for our social media and link our Facebook. It has... It has been updated, so you might need to go in here and make sure 
that your yours is updated if you've already done this. We have now this core social page. And as you can see, it says that my Facebook is connected, my LinkedIn is connected, and it gives a calendar. I don't have any engagements on this because it's still linked to my other one. But when you go to core social, which again is under marketing, and then I clicked new core social, I'm going to hit settings and preferences. It's on the right hand side. Here, it's going to give me three options. I'm going to edit the first one. This allows me to either link with Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. I do not have Twitter, so I am not connected there. I have connected with Facebook, and then it gives me the options of which one to pick and that I want it to post on. As you can see, I only have one. Okay. And then I have LinkedIn. This will allow me to post with LinkedIn if I want any of the articles to go there. Then I'm going to hit save. This will link to your personal page, but default to your business pages. Okay. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to post for frequency. I get up to four days. So I'm going to choose four days here. Okay. And then I'm going to get to choose the categories for the articles. These are articles. They are not just posts. I have real estate, food, architecture, interior design, mortgage, photography. I'm going to select them all. Travel, unique homes. The articles, when they click on them, they default to a page with your profile. Okay, On Facebook, it says allowing content. I need to click this on. For LinkedIn, allowing content. Okay. And again, I am not hooked to Twitter. If you have a Twitter account, that is to your discretion where you want these articles to post. So I'm going to save this setting. Now you can see my articles are reflected here. I have 17 categories chosen. Okay. Over here in the holiday section, I'm going to click edit. I get to choose where this is going to post on only on Facebook. Twitter, I'm not logged into. It does not post on LinkedIn. And I have Mother's Day, Father's Day, New Year's Eve, St. Patrick's. I can choose several different holidays that I want celebrated or posted on my business page. And that way, I don't have to actually remember to do it. Okay, so they, there they are. They are all ready and set and ready to go. So now it will start posting to my account. If I jump over to Facebook, if you're concerned about what this looks like, and I default to my business profile page, these articles, as you can see, published by Kate by Core Listing Machine. This is a listing that I approved. Here's an article. What are mortgage discount points and should you pay for them? Okay. The picture's a little slow because we have so many people on Zoom, which is super exciting. Okay. Another article. What is a sinking fund and how to set one up? Okay. So nice articles. Easy. You don't have to do anything. It will continue to post for you. And you definitely want to use this aspect of our you know, KV Core, because it's working for you while you're out working and showing houses, right? Every once in a while, if you change your password and things like that, you have to get back on here and set everything up, okay? From here, we have several other lead, uh, marketing tools that we're going to go into. Are there any questions about the social media aspect? What are they? Uh, first one is from Vicky, and it says, what is CirclePix? It is asking if I want to use it when I'm trying to add Facebook. CirclePix goes along with Social Core, and yes, allow it. And the second one is, where will the recording be posted? The recording is going to be posted in Facebook Place and probably on the YouTube channel, which we will post later today. Any other questions on social media? 
Uh, do you need to have a business account for this to work or can it be from a personal account? It, you definitely need to have a business account on Facebook for this to work. Yes. And then the articles of the post, if someone clicks on an article, is there a way for them to request contact from me? Yes, I will show you that. So if, if you go into Facebook and you go to your page and let me click one of the articles. So if they click on this particular mm -hmm. one, it is co-branded to me with my information. They can find their home value. They can read the article. It gives them options to come back to you. Okay, so everything is co-branded to you. And this is the circle picks that you were seeing earlier that you should allow. So the answer is yes on that. I said, I guess I need to create a page on circle picks. If you don't need to create a page on circle picks, you need to create a page on your um, Facebook business page. And the way to do that is when you're on your personal page, up at the right-hand corner, there's a plus sign and you're gonna create a page. You hit the plus sign, you create a page, and then that will default and allow you to choose business, okay? It is easier to do from a desktop. Do not try to do it from your phone. Claude said I cannot hear the host. Can, are we having trouble hearing? Can we get a yes or no in the chat box, please? I'm trying to ask a question. You have a question, Kelly? Yeah, what is circle pick? What did I miss? Circle Picks allows it to post articles on Facebook. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're linking our social media to from KV Core to Facebook so that you get free posts four times a week. All right. It goes to your business page. It would be something that you need to look at since you post very often on your page to see if it would be beneficial to you. Yeah, I have it all set up. It would it's been doing that for months, but I didn't understand where work came from. Oh, circle picks is just who generates the articles. Okay. Yeah. All right. Moving on to Jack. Ms. Jacqueline said, can you send the article on paying your mortgage with a credit card? Send it to Not right now, but yes. Thank you. Can you take a picture of that, please? We're going to jump over to web, I, web and IDX, and we're going to go to Website Manager before we hit the actual CRM and talk about the KV Core Mobile. So on the website in IDX, this is where you actually find your website, okay? We all have a website. It is right here. It is your first last name dot northgroupre.com. This is where you can add and edit your content on here. If you click on your link here, it will default straight to your page with your bio that you have updated in areas in which we can search in. Okay. You will also have listings at the bottom just listed from your MLS. Now, it is possible to link two different MLSs if you have them. But that is something that our back office has to do. Jim, do you want to comment on that? Yes. Uh, if you can go back over to your website a minute. Sure. And scroll all the way down to the bottom. Yes. Uh, if you see, like hers just has MLS grid. If you have something showing North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Florida, if it's showing all of that, please reach out to Sarah at North Group RE because we'll need to reset your IDX feeds. Uh, it can should only have the... Uh, IDX feeds for the MLSs that you're a member of. Thank you, Jim. You said Sarah? Yes, Sarah at northgreepre.com. Sarah at northgreep. I'll put it in the chat. Thank you, thank you. Thanks, Jim. So over here where it says website manager, I'm going to go up to the right hand side and it says website settings, manage my website settings. I'm going to click there. So when I go there, it gives me options to change general things. I can change the layout and save that. I can change my front picture and pick a few that it will scroll through. If you're on the coast or in the city, you get different options. 
that you can pick from. You can also upload your own if you want to spend time doing that. But there are several different options here that you can pick for the front of your, of your website. Scrolling down, you can add a secondary logo. If you have a team or if you have your own personal logo, it will reflect at the very top of your website right next to North Group. You can see I have two up there. And as you are scrolling down, you can put different descriptions, custom headers, things along those lines. I have not taken the time to do those things. I am satisfied with my website. You can add different um, widgets and things like that to it. Jim, do you want to comment on any of the extra things you can add here? You can also add like a uh, video to loop on your main page. Erin, uh, if you can pull up another tab for just a second and go to mine, it should. I L U N S F O R D dot North Group R E. Making me work this morning, Jim. And it didn't come up. Oh, you got two R's in R E. Okay. There we go, Jim. Jim's got a fancy movie. You see that, guys? He uploaded a different screen that moves. It actually pulls it from YouTube. Uh, if you're if you're in the same settings where you were choosing the photos, there is a place where it asks for a YouTube ID. So you can add any, it's got to be a public YouTube video. Mm -hmm. I'm not that fancy, Jim. So I keep it simple. I like simple is better for me. <laughs> Did you want to show something else on here? Mm -hmm. Oh, right here. You have a different... Um, layout than I do. So if he has. If you scroll down, it'll show the different IDXs. Like I'm a member of majority of North Carolina, South Carolina. So at the very bottom, it'll show like there's the North Carolina Regional MLS, Coastal Carolinas. Uh, that's another North Carolina Regional, Columbia MLS. Uh, grid is Canopy, PD. So he has all of his MLSs linked here. So this is possible, guys, and this is important when you're setting up alerts across MLSs, which we'll go into in a little bit. So someone asked how we got to this page. We went to web and IDX. On the left-hand side, we clicked website manager. And then we clicked on website settings on the right-hand side. Website settings then takes us to edit our actual web page, okay? You can also access the North Group web page if you're looking for that here and things along those lines. When you go to agents, you should only see yourself. And then you should see the um, different, different offices and teams and lenders all in your um, profile. So all the lenders are here for me. Okay, I was going to show you, can't find my content. All right, so back on website manager, this is an important tool if you want reviews reflected on your account. So I went to website and then I went to website content. In order to get your Zillow reviews to show up on your website, you have to add hand at, like manually add a testimonial here. Who wrote it? Add a testimonial, hit add. Okay, so you're basically copying your favorite one, putting it there. And then you're going to update your review settings for Zillow and links. And then it'll scroll through your reviews. They naturally link. Zillow owns KB Core, Gottloop, Zillow, Showing Time. So they're all hooked together. Okay, so Zillow is an important link to have on this one. Also, we have an embed. Everybody has a QR code that links straight to your website. So our individual QR codes, when they are scanned, take people directly to our website. 
This is important to use on signs, important to use um, on business cards these days, because if anybody clink, clicks on your KV Core, their information, if they fill it out, will go into your KV Core, not to the company's KV Core. Okay. And that is your lead, right? So the QR code, this does not change. If you want to save it, you right click, hit save as an image. You can send this to the printer with your sign shops. You can send it, upload it on Canva. You can do multiple things with this. Okay. Question. Yeah, what's the question? She said, can you upload your own video for the homepage and video of yourself introducing yourself? There, special there is a um, way to upload your own video on there. Jim, do you know exactly where they would go to do that? Is it site content? Yes, it's, uh, I believe... Let's see. Custom pages, maybe? Yeah, I believe it is. Uh, the vi the main video on the front, that's one that would have no volume to it, uh, so it doesn't do the volume. Uh, is that what they're looking for? Yeah, I think she said like a video introducing herself on the front page. Yeah, so that, that one would not automatically have volume to it. It's going to be one without volume there. Hello. You should definitely do, guys, make sure you're muted, please. Um, you should definitely do a new page and more information about the agent to get custom aspects of that caliber. But if you do have any questions that we're not answering today, um, just because we're not aware of them, this little speech bubble at the bottom um, on the right hand side, if I click on it, this is an assist, right? So I can message them. As you can see, I message them all the time. Um, I send a message and I ask a question and I can just type in here and they will get back to me like within 10 minutes and answer my questions pretty thoroughly. If something's wrong on here, they can help me with that too. This is another way if I have a CSV file, say from an event that I did to add the contacts into KV Core so that I don't have to sit here and individually add them all. I would just write here, can you add my contacts? I would click the little paper clip and it would allow me to upload my file here and they will put them into my contacts. So speaking of contacts, let's jump over to Smart CRM. And in the Smart CRM, this is where your contacts, your leads are going to go. We're gonna talk about putting them in here. We're gonna talk about how to utilize the system and we're gonna go into the mobile app a little bit here. So if you are individually putting people in here, you're going to hit add contact and you are going to input their, their name, their email address, their cell phone number. Do you, Does the system have permission to call? Yes, yes. Text, email, yes. Street address, lender information. Um, if they're buying, selling, lead status, I'm sorry, lead information, not lender. Um, smart campaign. If you want them on a campaign, we already have campaigns built in here also. So once a person is in here, I'm going to click on Todd Wilson. Todd Wilson is a person that came in. His area is Charlotte. His phone number, his email is here. He has no address. The, there was a validation ran on August 9th. That is a very cool thing about our system is that they run validations to see if the email is real, the phone number is real, so that if someone's clicking on your website and putting in false information, it will tell you that. All right. I can add a hashtag here, buyer, because that way <clears throat> I know to get him on the buyer drip campaigns. Or if I want to send out a whole email to all my buyers, then the email, he would get tagged in that email. Okay, so on this front page, I can see updates. I can see that, you know, the validation was ran. He was assigned to me. He was added a hashtag, Charlotte. And these were the questions asked at the bottom from a lead source. Okay, when I click on his, the top line of his information, I have profile details. I can edit and add details here. He came from Facebook. I can see that. And then I have the option to set an alert for him. If I've called and he has requested a search portal, this is where the multiple MLSs play an important part because you don't have to just pick one MLS. If I am covering multiple areas and they are crossing over, I can simply draw you know, the location in which they're looking and it can cross over MLSs and it will search. 
for them. Jim, do you want to say anything about that? Because you actually use that more than I do. I use this a lot more uh, with with Canopy. You would just have access to just Matrix uh, with, and there's some things that are in Canopy that are also in the Columbia MLS. So if you're using this, you don't have to worry about them getting an email from Canopy and then one from Columbia. And then if they're looking in the Sumter area, they would be getting three separate emails. And also if they favorite something in those, you don't know that you're necessarily going to see it unless you're checking those systems. If they favorite something or send a message, it all logs into KV Core. Um, also, in, in a bit, we do have an app that instead of sending them to Zillow or something like that, they can use an app on their phone to where they can do their searches and check just like on Zillow or Realtor.com. And it'll all log into KV Core. Right. So after you draw that square or area around where you want the alert to be set, you get to pick how frequently you want the search sent to them, ASAP, daily, twice weekly, and then CC it to yourself, to your email, so that you also know what houses they're looking at, even though you'll be notified. It's nice to, if they say, oh, you know that house you sent me, then you know because it was in your email. And then go through and select, of course, things like you would on MLS, price range, full bath, um, other important features, you know, structural garages, things like that. And then you set the alert. We have the option to set two alerts per person in here. Okay. After you finish with that and you set the alerts, you can go over to files. Why would files be important? Well, I share my leads with my um, lender in North Group. And if they have a pre-approval, my lender can upload their pre-approval here for me and we can share documents back and forth, okay? And then also transactions. Transactions, if they go under contract, things along those lines, this can all be monitored here. Task is my favorite part. And this is where the mobile app will come in and we'll start talking about that a little bit. This task option allows me if Todd um, needed a phone call follow-up because he had possible surgery. I can put on here a call. I can pick the date that I want to call him back. And then I can pick the time that I would like to call him back. And I assign it to myself and I can write a note, surgery on foot. Okay. And then I know when I get a notification through my mobile app, because I have it logged in on my phone, it's a task that I need to complete. It reminds me that he had surgery on his foot and that I need to start the conversation with, hey, Todd, how are you doing? I just was calling to check in on you and see how your foot was healing, right? Because in the real, in the real grand scheme of things, I'm not remembering important details about every single person, right? And this does not cloud up or jam up my calendar. It simply gives me notifications that I need to follow up with him, okay? This will not work if you do not have KV Core Mobile on your phone. Jim, you wanna share KV Core Mobile? Can't hear you, Jim. You can make me host, I can share that on there. If I knew how to do that, you should be able to share. Let's see. Look at this. Taking just a moment. There we okay. go. I'm going to stop share. There we go. So Jim has just pulled up KV Core Mobile in his app. And this is what you're seeing on the screen right now. If you have a full screen, it's much more difficult to see in a clear version on Zoom. So I do suggest minimizing your screen a little bit. On the first screen, it says inbox. And that is where if you have your emails link, they will show there. If you've gotten text messages through the system, they will show here. On the next tab, it says contacts. I will see every single one of my contacts listed here and I can click on them and add individual tasks to that person. 
when my task were to come up for that person, if I was being notified, I can go back in, write a note from my phone, and then add another task here for the next follow-up. You have to have the KV Core Mobile on though, and your notifications on. So the screen that Jim is showing is specifically for a buyer, and it gives the whole rundown of what has happened throughout her life on KV Core with Jim. And you can see that up at the top, it says task completed. That means that he went in there, added another note, and the task was in there. Now, if you don't add or complete your task, it will redline them, okay? He currently has no task in the, in the area in which he should follow up with people. If I were to go to mine, I have two overdue tasks, meaning that I owe two phone calls, okay? Once again, you have to download KV Core Mobile. You need to log in with the same login that you would use to log into KV Core Desktop, the exact same one. Are there any questions about KV Core Mobile or task or alerts? Yeah, two about the website. About the website? Mm -hmm. Okay. So good. Said, can you copy and paste reviews from sites other than Willow or Zillow? <clears throat> you on the website you can copy and paste but you are automatically adding them you are not there will no there's no syndication between the two so you can add testimonials all day long and then Ms. Grona said how do you print or download your code your QR code um you right click on your QR code and save it as an image and then you can upload it as a jpeg and then this panel said, is there an easier way to share the mobile app with clients or easy way? So this mobile app that you're looking at is a CRM just for you. The next app that we show you is one that you can share and is co-branded with everybody that you share it to. Jim is going to go through that. Um, we're going to switch to that now. So amazingly, we all have an app. And anybody on KV Core who has a website actually has an app. The way that you get to your app, and I'll let Jim tell. You want to okay. on. So the easiest way to do this, uh, it is a web. It is your website with just a few letters after it. You'll hit your website, so it'll be your first name, last name. Dot northgroupre. Dot com slash app. Dot php. If you're on an iPhone uh, and Android, you can set up your uh, keyboard to where you can change things. I'll go ahead and go to mine, go into my settings on my iPad here. If I go down to where my keyboard is, I'm just gonna find it. Actually, so you can do your keyboard shortcuts. Just go keyboard guys it's your website that he said and i put it in the chat box it's backslash app app dot php that's how you get to your app so try you can try it on desktop you can try it mobile sorry on my ipad i'm having trouble finding where the keyboard <laughs> it's okay so once you put that in, what happens is an app comes up and it is co-branded to you. You can send it directly to your clients. They log in with their email that is in KV Core and they can set up searches through there. All right, I'm going to switch over to my phone and it should be easier to do. Okay. So whenever you go into your settings on the iPhone, you'll go down to, I believe it's general and then keyboard. Sorry, agents are calling me. You go into your text replacement. So this is where you would uh, create a new phrase. So you would want what your phrase would be. So that's where you would put your website on here. So I'll go where I already created mine. So the phrase would be HTTP colon slash slash your first name, last name dot northgroupre.com. And then if I scroll over, it's app 
dot php. And my shortcut I put is the at symbol and app. So if you put a phrase that you would type normally, if I type this phrase and I hit the space bar, it's automatically going to fill that in on my screen. So if it's something you type all the time, I would add a special character or something at the beginning. So that way there's a something else you can do. So if I wanted to send my app to someone, I'll go to my text messages and I'm gonna send the app to Aaron or I'll send it to myself. So I'll just hit the app and then APP. So if you see it automatically started to fill that in, I hit the space bar and it automatically changed it to that. So if I hit send, it's gonna send the app to there. I click on that link and it's gonna bring up Millions Map brought to you by you. So the client can actually go in here, they can search on here. This is gonna be all live information through the MLS. Uh, the last I was looking was up in Hildebrand, North Carolina. So any MLS that I'm a member of, I can pull up this information. So if I wanted to look at Myrtle Beach, it's going to pull up Myrtle Beach and then it should. There's the properties that are listed in that area. So you can zoom in, get a little more information. The client, the only thing they have to do in order to log in is in the top left corner where the two little arrows are, they'll click on that, click log in. They can put in their email there and it'll log directly into their KV Core account to where you can see everything they're doing. So if they favorite a property, you'll be able to see it. Um, just like if you have a client that's not messed with KV Core in a couple of days, they get on here, they view three properties. It's gonna send you an email saying, hey, this person has viewed three properties. It may send them an automatic text to kind of get them engaged. Uh, but with this, um, like I said, this works a little bit better. Instead of sending the agents to or the clients to Zillow or Realtor.com, this is sending them directly to your page instead of other sites. So your face is constantly in front of them. So um, I just want you to show real quick, Jim, how it co-brands to everybody. So if I go down here, I'll click on my agent down here. There it is. When they click on your agent, it will call you from the app, it will email, and it will text you straight from the app to your cell phone, not to um, KV Core, not to the um, smart number, directly to your information from here. So this is a hidden gem that Jim found for us um, to utilize across the states and they can search nationwide on here. It does not limit them to your MLS. Okay, so this is a very strong tool to use. Um, the only- to, uh, The address on here, see I'm showing the Huntersville address. We are in the process of getting offices set up. So if you're in Myrtle Beach or Sumter or Columbia, depending on what your office address is with LLR, those addresses are gonna be corrected to what L, uh, the Real Estate Commission or LLR shows for your office address. Um, a question about do how do they set up an account? They just log in with their email. Correct. And their email should already be inputted into your KB Core as one of the contacts so that the two link together. And then another question is how do you set up an account for this? You already have an account for this you have to put in your North Group website, okay, which for me would be aaronmaldonado.northgroupre.com backslash app dot hp dot p dot php php that always gets me. Um, so it's your North Group website backslash app dot php. It is linked to this app that he's showing you right here. It gives you a quick start guide. I suggest playing with it. I sent it from one of my phones to another email address to see if I could link in and see what it looked like. I sent it to my husband. I sent it to my dad. I told him to do some um, searches on there. So play with it a little bit before you start sending it out to clients to make sure you like the way it operates. But 
It does go straight to your KB Core. Like Jim said, you will be able to see and get notified through KB Core. So once again, it's keeping all of your information in one place. So once it does show that you're, you've been linked like that, if I go into my settings, you see there's an agent code there. If someone ever just downloads Millions Map, you can give them that code, uh, which is linked directly to you. So this is my code here. So if you give them, if they download Millions Map, and they put in that code, it will link to you. Where did you get that code from? It automatically put it in there since I sent the app to myself. Right. So when you send it to someone, it'll put your agent code in there. So if, you have, if you have it set in there for the app or for your shortcut app. So at app and then hit your space bar. Like I said, that's my web address with the app attached to it. Apparently it says it's not working for the Motorola Z4, but the app will not download, says not eligible. Not sure about that, Susan. We'll have to play with it a little bit and see if there's a way around it. You have to be able to download the million, what is it, that app called, the millions? The millions Mapped. Yeah, the Millions Map app. Apparently Android's not working either, unless it's an older one. Maybe so the newer, if anybody has do. a newer Android and you try it, please let us know. So if you go to your App Store or the Google Play Store, you should be able to search for this app. Millions Mapped. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump back over to. Um, Did you post that link that um, the verbiage that goes behind your website? Yes, it is in the chat box. Okay, we'll I'll also see. post it in the Facebook group with the recording of this. Thank you. Yep. All right, Jim. And Sam had asked, is it HTTP or HTTPS? Uh, it should allow you to do HTTP. Old contacts from, hey, Jim, will you unshare? Yes, sorry. Well, um, old contacts, James, from your CRM in KB Core you're talking about, like in here? Did you yes. respond? Yes, exactly. Um, so you know what? I don't know. Um, let me see. Click here, more actions, move to ponds, I delete contacts that. right there. Okay. So this is one way to send out, it's okay. One way to send out mass things to do mass um, you know, tags, things like that. If you click on all of them, it will click all of your contacts. You can go to more actions, you can add hashtags all together transfer contacts or share contacts if you're giving leads or sharing leads out, add campaigns, delete contacts, things along those lines. Also, you can click here and send a mass email. If you are sending a mass email, it will add your email signature at the bottom because you've already clicked that in settings. And it will make sure to notify which of the 50 or so that cannot be sent to. Okay, that have unsubscribed or that have unsubscribed to text. When you do this, it will only send to the ones that are checked on the front page. You can only send one page at a time. So you want to make sure that your row is at the maximum amount because no matter how many pages you have, you're going to have to copy and paste that many times. Okay, I use the mass email a couple times a year to send out a personal um, information email from me. I also do the mass text a couple times a year. Like I said, mass text, this one you can see one of the 50 contacts has selected not to receive them. So it automatically takes out the unsubscribed. Same thing here, I got a copy and paste. So I use a Word document that day to do that. Now, the last thing is you can do a mass video. 
Okay. With the mass video, you have an option to record here or to select a video from, say, your YouTube channel or something like that and put it here. Once again, you're going to have to do it however many pages you have, 10, 15 pages or four, whatever you have, and do it several times. Okay. So there is no method to that. I guess they don't want us blasting. So it has a better chance of ending an inbox and not a junk mailbox. Okay, but it will eliminate people who have unsubscribed, unsubscribed the text, and do not want to receive emails from you anymore. So it's a safe way to blast out emails. Okay. Any questions about people in here, your contacts, utilizing your contacts, um, putting people in, how to use mass email? Go ahead. Can you import um, can you import your email list? You can. So you're going to use that little envelope up at the top to either sync your email and it'll import for you. Or if you've downloaded your email and you have a CSV file, yes. you're going to send them a message over here and say, can you import my list and click this little paper clip and attach it and they will import it for you. Okay. okay. Thank you. Sure. What was the question? There's three who have Androids that can't get it downloaded, but someone asked if it can be posted or emailed a step-by-step -step on how to set up the app and generate the link. We can do that, guys. And then someone said, um, how do you link KV Core? How do you link it to KV Core? The app is automatically linked to KV Core when you use your website from KV Core that you're assigned for our company. So you were assigned your website when you add the ending to it, backslash app.php, that automatically links it to your KV Core. It's yours. And yes, we can do a step-by-step -step for the app and information, okay? So you put that in the login? Jim, do you put the email address, I mean, the website in the login, or does it just link all together when you open the app? It links all together when you open the app. Yeah. It's automatically synced to you. Androids, we'll do some research for you and we'll sort we'll see what we can do. Okay. I but guarantee you Jim's over there researching it already, if I know him well enough. So all right. We are going to keep going. Another um, aspect of KV Core is going to be our newest design center. So excited about this. This is a new feature that we have. It is under marketing, which is the paper airplane. If you click on that and you scroll down to design center, we've all been waiting for this one. This kind of takes away the um, aggravation of going through Canva and things like that. If you need a quick way to make flyers and stuff, there is they are going to allow you to create and link your social media and everything to this also. I am not going to do that right this second, but follow the step-by-step -step when you cl cl click on Design Center. It's extremely important. So what this allows you to do is create flyers, postcards, door hangers, stationery, signage, um, posts for Facebook, LinkedIn, and other places that are branded to you and that are branded to your listings, okay? So for example, I'm gonna click on the flyer here. Um, there are different flyers. There's agent achievement flyers, um, listing flyers, price drop flyers. I'm just gonna click on one of the agent achievements. As soon as I click on the agent achievement, what it does is it brands to me. And it says, I'm proud to be recognized as one of the top 1.5% agents nationwide. You can edit this, by the way, if you need to change that. You can edit your information below, and then you can download and print it by clicking this button. And that is it. It is already done for you. Okay. There are ways to change other things like your branding, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So I'm going to save that one so it goes into my file. So it is saved. That means I will be able to pull it up at a later time. Um, I'm going to click on social media so you can see some of these. Social media has um, different agent promotional things that you can post from here. They also have listing aspects. So I'm going to click on a listing that is in my portal or one of the companies. 
and you can see it's already branded to me. I might want to edit some of these things and I can do that by clicking swapping the photo, but it is there. I can share this on social media. I can share it downloaded. I can share it via email. I can share it via text message. These are things that you need to get in here and play with, right? When you have a listing or when you're going to host an open house along those things. I am going to say this, do not spend a whole day playing with this. Limit your time during the week to what you're going to focus on on KV Core. You are not supposed to be great at every single aspect of KV Core. This is a lot of information. So pick the things you want to practice. And then at the next one, come back with your questions. Okay. So the design center takes me through listings, um, website design. I can do several different things. I can do video design on here. Okay. All my media is on here. Now you will see where it says design center at the top and it says settings and media library. I'm going to click on that. Here's the cool part. I can go in here and edit my logos and change them and pick the ones I want reflected. So if I'm making a flyer for say my buyer folder and I want my sister companies in there, because of course, you know, we're talking mortgage, insurance, everything. I'm going to use this logo to put on my flyer. Okay. So I have added the logos that I use the most and save them there. I've also changed my primary colors. You can get in here and edit and pick whatever colors that you want and save them. You can also reset them to the original blue colors. I didn't like the blue color. So I went in here and edited it and changed that to the color that I wanted it to be, okay? That reflected my logo and things like that. So I'm gonna save that. Yes, what are the questions? Um, how do you update your profile picture? Oh, we'll go We'll go over that again. It's under my profile. Yep. Where do you find the logos? Your logos are found at a website. Jim, can you post the logo website for North Group in the chat box, please? Your logos are on a website that is sent out in your welcome email. Um, Jim will post it real quick. You can download them from this website. You can also order business cards and things along those lines. You can change fonts. You can edit media. You can add your social media here. Notice there is a YouTube option here too. Okay. So there are a lot of features here. It's a one-stop shop for real. And you can print and utilize these tools for advertising, new listings, posting, um, on Facebook. Now, remember these posts you can share directly from Facebook to Facebook, but they won't get the necessary traction as your other things. Okay. Cause there's no links along those lines. Okay. Now, any questions about the design center? Someone said I'm having a hard time resizing my logos for my social media. Um, are you resizing North Group logos? Or are you resizing your own personal logos? Do they answer? Yeah. Uh, North Group. Okay. Um, we will, there are several different sizes of the North Group available. If you download them all from that link, there should be one for social media on there. But if you want to reach out to me afterwards, we can try to work on that. Okay, make sure you get the right one. And does KV Core have a monthly newsletter? KV Core does not have a monthly newsletter on here. Nope. Could you make a flyer for a price reduction for a listing? Then somehow there will be a link for them to click that takes them directly to the listing details. So we're going to go to that next. Where are the links for all the things that you want to share, right? So I'm going to go to listings and I'm going to hit company listings. You will see my listings, company listings, and manual listings. So I'm going to go to company listings. So here it will pull from my MLS, the one that I am linked to, and you will see several different listings. I'm just going to pick one to click on. This is not my listing. Okay. This is Sonny DeBras listing, and he it is an active listing. I get several bits of information here. I can do the same thing with my own personal listing. So here I can see an overview of the house and I can see if I have any matching buyers in my portal. If I do, oh, I have one, I can click them and send them this listing straight from here, okay, to make sure that they saw it. I can do a text or an email. I can view it in the CRM. 
I can also click on this direct link that you were just asking for. This direct link will take me to their listing, but it co-brands with me. And it also gives that agent credit for this listing. Okay. So if you want to share a listing and you have the permission of that agent or you're sharing your own, you can share this link right here. The one that is in KB Court right there. Now, if you are going to contact Sunny and you want to do an open house on this house, you can do several things over here on more actions. You can share that via um, Facebook right here that you're going to do an open. You can text it out and you can create a flyer just for this house by clicking that button. Without doing anything in the design center, it will just generate a PDF for you. There it is. And it is co-branded to me. Okay, so everything you do from your KV Core is co-branded for you. The last thing I want to share with you in this portal is going to be Boost Property. So I want to run some ads. I want to get the leads, but I don't want to pay for a long-term um, dedication or anything like that. And I am running an open house on this. So I can print, have this ad ran right here. It's not printing. It's going on Facebook. And it says sponsored. It is something that people can click on. And the prices are right here. This is a one-time fee. Okay, so for $60, it will be seen 2,000 times. It will be ran for seven days and you will get 12 to 16 contacts. Now, please note, these are people clicking on your ad. They are nurture leads. That means you have to contact them. You have to follow up with them. Okay, but they are people who are looking at houses. You have the option to do this several different ways. You can choose listing. You can do a price reduction one. Um, you can even do a sold one. Okay. But the lead count is down here. So this is a great way if you don't want to dedicate long-term to a lead program. Okay. Any questions about this portion of listings or anything like that? Erin, uh, I have a question. What if you want to add a listing that is not already in your listing? Will you be able to do that? Do you mean it's not in your MLS? That's correct, yes. If Why would you? Is it like a for sale by owner? Uh, no. Uh, right there, you went to my listing. So if the it's for maybe another agent from North Group. Okay? Yes, so but you would click on... My... Okay. You would click on company listing or you would click on all MLS listing. It should okay. come up. Okay. Thank you. You should not have to add anything manually. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it should be there. Anybody else have a question? Jim did post in the messages a step-by-step -step for the millions keyboard. Thing. Thank you. Jim did post a step-by-step -step and we will post that again in the um, North, in the North group hangouts group also. We are also working on a YouTube channel, just so you guys know, and we will be posting independent videos that are about less than five minutes long. So to help you go through these things again, okay, it, it's ever growing and changing. Are there any other questions? I know someone asked about changing your picture. You go to your name at the top and hit my profile and it will give you the option to change your picture. Okay. I am going to go over to um, your playbooks now. Your playbooks is like um, just a area in which it'll give you what to do daily activities in here. If you want to dedicate time to getting to know the system, it will kind of work you through there. But I have a little cheat spot in here that I like to use, so I'm going to show it to you. Um, playbooks, I'm going to click on work your sphere. And then I'm going to click on go to playbooks. When I hit go to playbooks, I'm going to go to open the playbook. Now I'm in this place where it gives me little videos um, about contacting my sphere, things along those lines. But I'm going to go over to QuickSheet. QuickSheet gives me a landing page. And on this landing page, which I'm going to click now and you all have one, it takes me to evaluation page. So now I'm going to put in an address because this is a link that I want to post on Facebook that I want to put out there, maybe assign a QR code. 
and it gives your client or person a free valuation. Now you ha- you would not get their information yet. In order for you to get their information, they would have to unlock the full report here. And then it asks for their email, okay? Ask them to submit. So that would be when you get their contact information, but it is worth going for, right? This is like a home bot thing that you have access to, to share out, right? Or are you ready to sell your home? Scan this QR code, assign it to this valuation link and put it on a flyer to give out or a door hanger or a mailer, okay? This is another way to use the KV Core system. And as you can see, all of my contact information is at this valuation link. So I'll tell you where that is one more time. Go to playbooks, hit work your sphere, go to go to playbook, the blue button, then the green button, open the playbook, and then hit quick sheet. And there is your valuation page. There are free QR code systems to link a separate QR code to this. Okay, your QR code for your website will not take them to this landing page. Did you say there's questions? Yeah, there's two. Go ahead. She said, is there a reason I don't see any listings? She's in South Carolina. Yes, it means your MLS is not hooked up. So we do need to email um, Sarah about that. Can you- Aaron, can I yeah. offer something? I'm going to jump off, but um, that actually is a great segue into what I wanted to tell you before I go. Um, with the KV Core revamp that we're doing with all the local offices, we are in the process of making sure all of the agents are connected to all of the offices that they are attached to for their licensing. So if you're a North Carolina agent and you're also one of Jim's Myrtle Beach agents and you have that MLS, we are making sure that you're connected to both of those offices on the back end. So give us a little bit, but if you're not seeing your MLS connections, uh, Greta, um, or anyone else, make sure that you do email us in. You can email me or Sarah, and we will make sure that you get connected. Um, but we are in the process of revamping that. So just wanted you guys to be aware. Hey, okay. hey, Lindy. Hey, Lindy. Yes. Are we going to be connected to the Triad MLS? If you are a member of the, the Triad MLS, yes, your office, is, your office codes for KV Core will be connected. Okay, because I have that's, that's Canopy what we're working on doing. Okay, I have Canopy and Triad, it, and I'll just wait on you guys to update it instead of contacting Sarah again. No worries. We'll get that taken care of as quickly as possible. Thank you, okay. Aaron and Jim. I'm going to jump off, um, and I will talk to you guys later. Hey, Lindy, thank you. Um, And as Lindy was saying, the web pages for each individual office are actually up and they're being assigned, people are being assigned to them now. So there will be some moving around, some mixing up and stuff along those lines, but your MLS should be hooked to your KV Core page um, so that you are getting that feed. So definitely make sure you send an email to Sarah to get that completed. Um, Any other questions? Do you have any others? How would you assign a QR code to the home valuation webpage? So there are free QR um, websites. Hey, Jim, do you have know any offhand? Usually I just Google free QR codes and it takes me through the steps. You copy the valuation link and you put it in there and it generates a QR code for you. Uh, you print and download the QR codes, thank you, Kelly, QR code generator, um, and Jim just posted a website for it. You definitely um, just right click the QR code and you save it as an image and then you can put it anywhere you need it. I see. So the IDX for South Carolina, Kelly, if you're in just Canopy should already be there. You should already be linked up. The recording will be available later today. Don't worry, it'll get out there, okay? All right, any more questions? Go ahead. So if I'm licensed in North Carolina and South Carolina. Yeah, all right. We are gonna jump over back to marketing for a minute where the airplane is. Marketing is a very 
strong. That should be one of your favorite tabs. And we're going to scroll down to Core Present. Core Present is one of my favorite tools. This is used for listing presentations, guys. So Core Present takes you through winning a listing, win an offer, present info, buyer tour. I mainly use this for win a listing. Um, if you are going on buyer tours, it would be great for them. We are rarely doing that these days when you're showing more than you know three houses in one day. So what you do here is you input your address of the house that you're going to show. And then you check the information and hit comparable details. What this does is it pulls comps from your MLS and other sources too. You want to cross-check these comps, of course, make sure that you agree with them. I'm sure you've pulled them from MLS already. If you do not agree with them, you can always add the MLS IDs here at the bottom. And with those MLS IDs, they will generate up here. You can change the radius if you don't need to go out a full mile. Um, you can make it even bigger if you need to go out more. You can change the year and date. You can do the bedroom count. The square footage is 20% larger, 20% smaller. Um, so this is something that you want to play with before you have a listing if you need a full listing presentation. I'm going to hit build a CMA next. Here you have the option to add different trends. I have average price um, clicked and then features, estimates. This gives you kind of like a line, timeline or price line of like where your house would fall. You can add in your own ranges here if you would like to before you go on the showing. Not necessarily something that I like to do before I see a house, but as you can see, it flagged me for where we're going to sell their house. I can also remove that. The next thing you're going to do is create a presentation. This is the best part because it is the easy part and you get to pick and select what slides you want for their house. I have options here to either look at this in a web version or a PDF version. I'm going to look at it as a web version. Say I'm going to show it on um, my tablet and then maybe print a few pages to leave them in a folder. So I'm in the modern. I have a luxury option. I can do several things here. I can also add an image of their house here if I would like to. I do not have to. The next thing I'm going to do is hit why am I the right fit? And then I'm going to click add slide. So from this portion, I get to pick what slides I want. The value of an agent, home selling process. I'm going to click that one. Realtor versus iBuyer right there and a one-sheeter. I don't want the one-sheeter, so I'll leave it unclicked. I'm going to click across the top. It says, what's my home worth? I get to pick the different forms that I want or sheets that I want. And make sure you read these before you add them. Okay, I'm not going to sit here and read them all to you, but definitely read through them. Market analysis, um, what factors influence the price, why pricing correctly is important buyer, marketing and buyer. There are several different sheets on here. Property boost, how we might pay for an ad for them. Importance of staging. And then next steps, it co-brands to me. So I'm going to add those slides. Now I can go through and make sure that I like the slides. If there's any slides that I would like to take out, I simply can X them out and then keep on going. Let's see. I like this one because it shows how many buyers are potentially looking in their area. Okay, and then a marketing plan. So I go through and pick the ones that I want. After I pick the ones I want, spending time doing that, I go to present and share. When I present and share, it actually gives me a slideshow. And with this slideshow, I have the option to add a video link, open the presentation, email the presentation, download and print. And that allows me to print the sheets I want to give or leave with the seller, not necessarily the whole presentation. And then it also gives me a link to my presentation if I need to copy and paste it anywhere. Okay. With this, I can also add a net sheet. It gives me three price options here and I fill it in. And then what it will do is create the slide. Of course, I'm estimating everything, making up numbers, guys, just so you can see it. So now it has been added into my slideshow. 
And this is what it looks like on the PDF side of, of course, a very big, but I can print individual slides here now, right? Individual papers to put into my folder and make sure that my client has it, right? Gives pictures, everything. Very detailed oriented. Um, definitely look at all aspects of this when you're going to go through it, okay? Any questions? Jim answered one. Jim answered one. Awesome. Jim, you have anything to say about this? No. Any other questions, guys? No questions. Um, Gregory, can you unmute yourself and tell me exactly, or did Jim, did you answer that? I'm working, trying to get this tub to pull up to show the sites. Okay, perfect. Does anybody have um, any questions about the list, the listing presentation? It's, it's one of those other tools, guys, that you have access to, and I suggest getting on and definitely playing with it. Don't wait till you have a listing, but as you can see, you can spend endless amounts of time in KV Corp, right? So time yourself a week. Don't, don't spend a whole day sitting, you know, for hours in front of the computer playing with KV Core. Um, so definitely there is a agreement link. So if you wanted to add an agreement link, that would be something from like dot loop or zip forms that you could add there if you wanted them to be able to review the contract or something along those lines. I don't see how it's an option to send it to them to sign from here. But if you wanted to just upload, you know, the working with real estate agents brochure or something along those lines, that's a great feature to use. And then it would go along with the, the presentation, right? If you sent it. Where on Facebook is this being posted? This will be posted in the Hangout group, in our North group Hangout group, okay? Like I said earlier, we are also going to be um, recording individual smaller videos for our YouTube channel um, from the Academy. So there will be smaller individual ones that break down each piece in, in a few minute video. So you don't have to watch the whole thing to find what you're looking for. Okay. Jim, did you have anything else you want to share on um, KV Core? I think we hit almost everything. That was a lot of information. Sorry. All right. I'm going to stop the, the, can you stop the recording?